Hello everyone, John here, and today I wanted to go over a build that I like to use a lot with the Lance that I am calling the Champion Build. Now, the reason I call it the Champion Build is because it offers something very unique and different from most sets. So I'm going to dive right into it and go over some of the skills. So, as far as damage goes, you want to have the basics. You want to have your Critical Eye, your Critical Boost, and Weakness Exploit. Once you have those skills, you're good on damage, so then you can start spending points wherever you want. So for the weapon, the, weather, the weapon isn't too important, but I am using the Lost Babel mostly for the attack power, which is pretty high for a Lance. It's, it's almost around 600. It has white sharpness and a decent amount, and no element with a, um, a big slot on there. So the no element will help in the damage again. Like I said, as long as you have the basics, the critical stuff, you're good. But I did throw a non-element boost on here just to bring it a little bit further. So with that said, you're good on damage. You have everything you can possibly need for damage, and you don't need any attack up or peak performance. You're fine with this. After that, you can start adding other skills. So what I like to add, I did add the Offensive Guard. Now, Offensive Guard is a great skill um, because you're blocking all the time with the Lynch. You're blocking, you're countering, and you're constantly getting these boosts of attack power. So that one's really good. I got some nice jewels that have the Expert built in, which helps out with um, trying to gem in um, the full uh, damage there. So now for defensive skills, I always have health boost. I think no matter what set you're using, you're going to want to have the health boost just because you're going to get hit. And with the lance, you're even more prone to it. The monster's going to be constantly in your face and you're blocking. Accidents happen. Health boost can help out with that. Now, the most important thing on this set is the showman earrings. Now, the showman earrings is really interesting because it gives a skill that I don't believe you can get anywhere else. It is called provoker and it makes the monster come after you more. So this is great because if you're in a multiplayer situation and the monster's constantly on you, that's great because it gives the team more opportunities to do more damage to the monster. Not only that, but it gives you more opportunities to do counters and counter claws. So this is an awesome skill for the Lance and you need to be brave to put it on because the monster's coming after you, you just gotta accept it and you're gonna deal with the monster. And as a Lance user, you can. You can deal with the monster because that's what it excels at so, so much. So more defensive skills, I do have the Ironside Charm on, and the reason for that, it gives you 5 points of guard, which is fantastic. When you're trying to gem things in, you're looking for room, and 5 points is really good for just one piece of gear. Having 5 points in guard is becoming essential uh, for me playing as the Lance. So if you don't have this, you're blocking and trying to counter and you're getting knocked around and it just it's not that fluid. When you have this, you can almost do whatever you want on the battlefield and I think guard is a great skill specifically for the lance. If you tie that with guard up, now you can block everything the monster can do. So not only can you block everything, but you can do it well, you're not going to get knocked around. I do have mind's eye on here. Um, and the reason for that, me personally, I don't like bouncing off the monster. I like it when I attack him that I just do the attack, whether it's at a weak spot or not. I understand if you have good sharpness and you hit the monster in the weak spots, you don't bounce. But sometimes, you know, the monster moves and things like that. So it's just a good skill to have that I, that I enjoy. Um, and as far as the gear, I don't have any set bonuses. I don't use any set bonuses, and I, they're not really needed. So every piece of gear that I'm using is being used mostly for the slots. So, for example, the chest piece right here um, is from the Savage Devil Joe. Um, I'm only using it for the level 4, the level 2, the level 2. It does have speed eating, but um, it's, it's not important. It's just a nice bonus. The Glavinus has a level 4, a level 2, and a level 1. For, um, again, mostly just for the stun. And um, Shars Valda. Uh, it's easier to have something with some of the skills that you need for your gear. So this one has two points of health boost and good slots. So I went with that one. And then lastly, the Garuga boots. Now this is probably the best boots in the game right here. Level 4 slot, level 2, level 2, and two points of critical eye. That can be used in almost any any set. It's just fantastic. 
And lastly, on the mantle, I do have some gems in here. I use Vitality, and I put protection in it, because when you have the Vitality mantle on, um, it's taking some of the damage for you, and protection, you'll take less, so it'll help it last longer. And then the Challenger mantle. Now, this one is fantastic. So I recently started using this, and what happens is you turn on the mantle, and the monster comes after you. If you get hit, the mantle comes off. So this can last for seconds sometimes. But with the lance, if you turn on the mantle and block the attacks or do counters, the mantle stays on. So with that said, you can actually hold the monster on you. You can hold his attention for a much longer time, again, giving your team more opportunities to do damage. And then the two refresh jewels I threw on there because you're going to be blocking a lot. You're going to want that stamina to come back as soon as possible to um, just, to, again, to hold the monster on you. And that's about everything. Um, I think it's a great set. Again, I'm calling this my Lance Champion build. The weapon can be swapped out because once the build is created, you can actually sub out that weapon for other things. So, for example, if you had a... Let's see. Let's try the Fire Lance. Oops. So for this one, it's the same exact build, except I took off the weapon. And when I took off the weapon, you don't need the non-element boost. And you could throw on a little bit of fire attack. And if you look at the damage, the damage is the uh, same. 598, white sharpness. Again, this one just has fire attack. And that's about everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching.